Russian generals are once again sending conscripts to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, part of which has been controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces since August the 6th. To fight against Ukraine, the guys have not yet received the necessary training. As reported by Astra, conscripts of the 290th Missile Regiment from the Mary El Republic of the Volga Federal District are being sent to serve in the Kursk region, part of which is controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces. It is noted that the young men are being persuaded to sign a contract and the father of a conscript from the city of Ivanovo told about being sent to the Kursk region. The mother of another soldier, who was originally from the Moscow region but serves in the 290th Missile Regiment in Mariel, said that her son was forced to sign a contract and go to the Kursk region. My son called and said that the command had already compiled lists for sending conscripts to the Kursk region. They answered all their questions. This is Russian territory and you must protect it. He has been serving since May of this year. He also said, that they are persuading everyone to sign contracts, the woman told Astra. Similar information was shared by a journalist from Ivanovo, Alexei Mashkevich, whose son was also called up for military service in the spring. In particular, the media employee wrote on social networks that his son would soon be sent to the Kursk region. As Astra specifies, this guy is among the conscripts from the 217th Regiment of the 98th Airborne Division. And what would you feel now, patriot and not, if you found out that your son, a conscript in the airborne forces after the young fighter course, will be sent from Ivanovo to the Kursk region? Mashkevich wrote, one of the social media users supported the man. I understand you better than anyone else. I haven't been able to come to my senses for two days after seeing this news. Our sons are in the same company. She replied to Mashkevich. Another woman also commented on the journalist's message. Our children are also sent there, conscripts from Kamenka, Leningrad region, and also after the young fighter course. Unfortunately, this is the reality of our life, strength and patience, health to our son, the Russian woman wrote. As noted by the lawyers of the Military Advocates Project, according to the law, conscripts can indeed be sent to perform tasks in armed conflicts to participate in combat operations. However, this is possible only after they have served in the military for at least four months and after training in military specialities. An Israeli airstrike hit a pickup truck traveling in northeast Lebanon late yesterday, two security sources told Reuters, with one of the sources saying it carried military equipment. The two sources said the strike hit a pickup near Chot, a remote area of Lebanon near the Syrian border, but that the driver survived. One of the sources said it was likely the military equipment being transported was a damaged rocket launcher on the way to be repaired. The Israeli Air Force targeted two Hezbollah lorries, some 10 kilometers from Baalbek, a stronghold of the Iran-backed militant group in eastern Lebanon, the Lebanese security source told AFP on condition of anonymity. One of the vehicles was hit and a series of explosions were heard in the area. One person was wounded in the strike, the health ministry said. Local Syrian official Abdo al-Taki told a Syrian radio station that a car was targeted on the road between the Syrian capital Damascus and Lebanon's capital Beirut, and four people were killed. A source close to Hezbollah confirmed the hit and said, the munitions which were inside the lorry caught fire. Israel has not commented on the incident. While it takes responsibility for strikes it carries out on Lebanon, it almost never does the same for strikes it is accused of carrying out in Syria. In recent months, Israel has frequently targeted Hezbollah trucks near the Lebanese-Syrian border, a key supply route for the group. This strike follows the largest escalation of violence between the two sides, who have been exchanging near-daily fire the day after the Gaza war began. Hezbollah has claimed support for Hamas, its ally, opening a support front for the Palestinian militant group. On Sunday, the Israeli army announced it had thwarted a significant Hezbollah attack on Israeli territory, claiming that about 100 aircraft struck over 270 targets in Lebanon. Hezbollah claimed to have launched hundreds of drones and rockets at Israel in retaliation to the assassination of the party's senior military leader, 
Fawad Shukr, killed in an Israeli strike on July 30 in Beirut's southern suburbs.